All right, before I start this video, I just want to let you know that this, when I read this article, I physically got sick when I read this article. I physically, um, I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe the feeling that I felt, but this is why I'm doing this, making these videos, and this is why I'm going to be in this fight when I'm older, because healthcare is a human right, and healthcare is not a privilege, and regardless of your paycheck, regardless of the amount of money you're born with, regardless of the amount of money your parents make, you deserve to go to the hospital if you're sick, and you deserve the best treatment if you're sick. And I just wanted to put that caveat in here because this absolutely disgusts me. Um, now, there's a little, there's details in this case that are off maybe, but regardless, the same fact stands that healthcare is a human right. And reading this case, I don't understand how anybody could refute that. So let's go ahead and read this article real quick. Um, you can tell by reading the headline. A uh, 17 year old boy who passed away after contracting, contracting the novel coronavirus despite not having any previous reported health conditions was denied treatment at a California medical facility over his lack of his health insurance, according to the mayor. Rex Paris, the mayor of Lancaster, California, confirmed the teen's death in a video posted to YouTube on Wednesday in which he warned residents to take global pandemic seriously and practice self-isolation social dis social distancing measures. The Friday he died, he was healthy. Uh, this Friday before he died, he was healthy, the mayor said. And a bit about by Wednesday, he was dead. The mayor said that the teen didn't have any insurance, so they did not treat him when he arrived at the urgent care facility in the area. The medical staff then told the child to go to the local public hospital, the child and his parents clearly. En route to the AV hospital, he went into cardiac arrest, the mayor said. They were unable, they were able to revive him and keep him alive for six hours. But by the time he got there, it was too late. The teen's death comes amid a wave of reports of young victims suffering deadly victim, uh, symptoms from COVID-19, defying previous assumptions that the novel virus is only fatal for some older patients and people who uh, have severe underlying conditions. Now, after reading that, um, there's one slight caveat to throw in there that it's not sure or unclear if he actually died from as a result of COVID-19 or if he actually had a pre-existing pre condition that caused him to go into cardiac arrest. Regardless, a child was turned away from a hospital because he didn't have any health insurance. His pay, not even him. He didn't even do anything. He, he was born into a situation where his parents didn't have any health insurance and he was turned away from the hospital. Now, regardless if, if it's coronavirus or if it's whatever it is, cancer, you should not be turned away from a hospital. That's just what it is. And I mean, <laughs> if you refute that, then we have a fundamental disagreement on morals. Um, let's also talk about the fact that the kid tested positive for COVID-19 and they still sent him back out into the world. Now, I'm not sure if the first hospital who denied him tested the positive or if he tested positive after his death. It's possible it was after his death. But regardless, the kid was showing symptoms of it. And they still sent him back out into the world so he could infect more people if he survived it. Or maybe if he they sent him back out in the world so he could die. All because the CEOs of the hospital need to make a quick extra buck and the health insurance execs have been lobbying our politicians for God knows fucking how long. So then nothing changes. You want to talk about death panels? A lot of Republicans like to talk about death panels, how other countries have death panels. Oh, the waiting lines, they cause death. Well, look at this shit, man. No, you know what happens in America? You know what, what they base care on in other countries is need. The need of you to be able to get seen by a doctor. What we base care on here is the size of your wallet. If you're a Saudi prince and you come here, we have the best health insurance in the world. If you're a middle-class citizen, we have one of the worst in the modern world. So guys, please take this freaking story to heart. And what we, we have to change this. We have to make a change. And we do that through legislation. We can do this through legislation. I mean, it's not like there's not a freaking solution to this. Other countries, every other modern country has it figured out. And through Medicare for All, we can change this. But as long as the healthcare execs, and as long as there's a for-profit motive in healthcare, as long as healthcare is a commodity, nothing will change. And people will take profit over people. Profit over people. So thank you guys for watching. I don't know what else to say. I mean, this... This is sick. This makes me sick. Um, if you guys like the video, which 
there's nothing really to like about it, but like the message, like the video, uh, share this far and wide, seriously share this because this needs to be out there. I don't see any mainstream media figureheads talking about this. Thank you guys.